I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. This white powder is just flour. I invented this flour test for you to compare different filter materials. Today, I will show you how to do it. This sock is one filter material I want to test using a vacuum cleaner. I use the sock to cover the vacuum cleaner's attachment and then try to use the vacuum cleaner to suck up the flour. Well, flour disappeared. Imagine yourself breathing all that into your lungs if you wear a sock as a mask. You may have seen people wearing orange peels in China. No, I'm not joking. Is it effective? Let's test it. Since no flour disappears, it does block out small particles. However, note that it will also block oxygen, which you need. We need a material that can let oxygen go through, but blocks small particles. This one layer test can eliminate orange peel for sure, but may not convince everyone that a sock is bad. While we know the design of socks is to air out your feet, some may argue that the powder may not have gone into the vacuum, but was probably captured inside the sock. We can shake the sock to show you there is no white powder inside, but you can still imagine that flour is sticking to the sock fibers. So I put a black cloth behind the sock and apply the vacuum. This is my two layer test. You can in fact see the white color appearing on the black cloth. So the flower has been pulled through the sock onto the black cloth. This proves that a sock is not a good material. After our video DIY masks went viral, our viewers asked us what materials one can use. Here we will provide some examples. Please subscribe to our channel. To cover many different materials, we need to refine our technique. Next, I want to compare the sock and the paper napkin and convince you that one is better. I wrap half of the adapter opening with the sock, the other half with a napkin. Using the vacuum to suck up the flour, see, the sock half has more white color. Many hours of debate from our viewers on which is better can be easily resolved in three seconds. Next, we test the mask, although we already can predict the result. See, the flower stays where it is. This proves that the mask can filter out flour. Since flour is larger than one micron, the flower test can only prove that the mask can filter larger than one micron. For an N95 mask, to prove that it can filter out 95% of particles that are 0.3 microns in size or larger, we need smaller particles to test. This is cornstarch, which is between 0.1 to 0.8 microns. Unless you want to spend more money, it is a good approximation because some cough aerosols floating in the air can be that size. Vacuum it. You do see some white color appearing on the black cloth. There are three possibilities to explain this. One, the cornstarch size is less than 0.3 microns. Naturally, this material would let that size go through. Two, this mask is a fake one. In this case, we would need a legitimate one to compare results. Three, 95% of the particles are all blocked. The white color is the remaining 5%. This is possible because you may notice a lot more of the starch is blocked. The most important benefit this test provides you is the comparison between a good material and a questionable one. If you only have good, but previously used masks, you can put them under the sunlight. The ultraviolet rays can kill virus. Mask one, the light green colored mask, failed the starch test, but this blue colored one, mask two, passes the starch test. Tests shown so far are summarized here. Note that it is not easy to see the difference between 95% filtering and 90% filtering. And when 95% is guaranteed by the standard, the actual amount of particles passing through could be much smaller than 5%. When there is a very small percent of the white powder shown on the display layer, you really need a magnifying glass to see it. To view the tiny amount of particles, black powder on a white filter may be more visible. I have a set of dark powder lubricants with known size to replace the white powder. You can also use cocoa powder. Even if you don't know the size, you can still compare the relative effectiveness of different materials at filtering. I will test this white coffee filter. We can just use a single layer. After vacuuming, you can check the opposite side of the coffee filter. See? On this side, you can clearly see the cocoa powder. 
Some viewers suggested diapers and maxi pads. This is a maxi pad. I guarantee half of our population has never used it before. Normally, the sticky side is applied to one's underwear. This sticky side is waterproof. See? You may stick it to your face. But this side is similar to the orange peel in that it blocks air. See? The flower does not move at all. So the only way to use it is to have the soft side on your face. See? The air will go in from the side instead of from the front. We tear the pad open. There is a thin sheet covering cotton ball-like fibers. I just test the thin sheet. It passed our flower test. It failed the cornstarch test. Notice that the center of the pad has double layers. We tested the center. The white color is lighter, but it still failed. This is understandable because the purpose of the maxi pad is to absorb liquid instead of filtering particles. Also, keep in mind that like diapers, there could be undesirable chemicals in the maxi pad, which may not be good for the lungs. Those kinds of chemicals are intended to absorb moisture, mask odors, and may also include bleach, tributylene, dioxins, fragrances, etc. Note, there are various vacuum cleaners also, with varying amounts of power and varying sizes and shapes of adapter openings. If you find that your test does not show particles passing through any materials, your vacuum cleaner may be too weak and you need to adjust. You may use tape to block part of the hole, or you may change the adapter. The smaller the opening is, the higher the pressure. You can use your thumb to block the opening to test the sucking pressure. To be more precise, you may run the vacuum cleaner with a timer. Again, since we don't know the exact size of the starch particles and we can't control the pressure of the vacuum to approximate industrial test standards, usage of this method needs to rely on the relative measurement to compare relative effectiveness of different materials rather than claiming the precise standard or particle size a filter material has. For a really thick material, instead of using a vacuum, you could use a compressor, which provides much higher pressure. In theory, for our first example, the dark cloth may also have been cleaned by the vacuum, so you won't see any white color. So if you see the flower disappeared, but there is no white color on the black cloth, then you can add a better filter, such as a mask or a vacuum cleaner bag, behind the black cloth. I use a disposable mask that has already been used behind the black cloth. See, the flower is on both sides of the black cloth. Now, this three-layer test convinces you 100% certain both a sock is not a good idea and the mask is a better one. The third layer can capture the powder and also functions as a comparison layer to compare the third layer reference layer and the first test layer. You can use a mask as your third layer. Other known reference filters you can use are the vacuum bags and HEPA filters. The functions of the three layers are shown here. Depending on your goal, you may choose which layers to use. In our previous video, we also demonstrated a water test because when the droplets land on your mask, the mask needs to prevent them from seeping through. The difference between a medical N95 mask and an industrial N95 mask is that the medical version can repel water. A viewer commented, an N95 mask can filter 95% of particles that are 0.3 microns in size or larger. Since coronavirus is only 0.1 microns, smaller than 0.3 microns, thus the mask is basically useless. The answer is that while coronavirus is 0.1 microns, the droplets are larger than 0.1 microns. When you have a mask that can repel water, it minimizes the probability of infection. I have seen many crafty people making colorful and pretty DIY masks without materials having been tested for effectiveness. I know this invention won't get a Nobel Prize, but I would be pleased if you can share this video because you may help save many people's lives at the time when they really need it. This video can also be used to check filtering effectiveness for things other than masks. For example, you may have seen some DIY video about vacuum cleaner bags being made out of old t-shirts. It may catch a lot of stuff, but after watching this, you can picture how much dust is getting back into the air. And you know that once you breathe in the dust, your lungs do not have an exit. 
for small particles to come out. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.